G'day there. You're watching the Aussie Boom Guru, and today I've got a quick but a very useful tutorial that's talking about linked geometry in Dynamo for Revit. Um, we're going to be dealing with a very common error or issue that people come across often when working with linked models in Dynamo, uh, when they need to get geometry out of its elements. And generally you'll find that unless all your models on your project are perfectly lined up to each other internally, um, so the same coordinate system internal to the Revit model itself, so where you start from is where you stay, um, in each model, um, you'll find that generally the models won't actually line up when you ask for their geometry from a linked element like this. So we're going to be looking at a workflow today where we take a linked instance of a model, uh, we get its underlying coordinate system or transform and we'll explain what that is when we go through it. Uh, we get geometry from the linked instance, for example, we're going to get all the wall geometry in this case, and then we need to transform that from the base coordinate system or the XYZ um, typical coordinate system internal to Dynamo to the actual link instances transformed coordinate system. So today I'll be using Autodesk Revit 2024 and its inbuilt Dynamo version um, and also the Crumple custom package but I will be explaining the Revit API uh, that I use within the Crumple nodes to achieve this so that you can achieve this without relying on a dependency like my package. If you are running Crumple you will also need the Dynamo Iron Python 2.7 custom package uh, I believe you might want to install the 2.5 version uh, if you're in uh, Revit 2024 uh, because that one will generally work for this particular workflow. It's assumed you'll probably have some knowledge of Revit, some Revit API knowledge and probably some Python fundamentals. Uh, there's a lot of videos on my channel so feel free to check them out if you're a little bit behind. No problems if you are, everyone's at different points in their learning journey and there's no shame in that. Um, without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into Revit and of course if I'm talking too fast feel free to slow me down using the YouTube playback speed. Um, so I'm just going to open up Revit here. Um, I'm just going to be using the Snowden Towers sample models. I've opened the HVAC model here, the mechanical model, um, and in this case there is a linked structural model. Now these models actually are internally lined up to each other, which is not very common, especially if your consultants aren't working together from the very beginning, which is quite common. People might start their models in different ways. So let's say that this model was actually moved and transformed before it actually lined up in the host model. So I'm just going to move this model off to the side. And I'm also going to rotate it. So what I've done there is sort of simulated what we call a transform to this link. So geometry and objects in programs like Revit will undergo transforms in order to tell the program where this element should actually be placed relative to the base coordinate system inside the modeling environment. So in this case, my link instance now has a transform that tells it it's actually off to the side and rotated. It's not at the base origin that it would be within its own coordinate system. It's a bit of a complex concept, but I guess all we need to understand here is that in Dynamo, when I ask this link to give me the geometry of its walls, it's not actually going to return the geometry at the location it is right now. Um, so let's just jump into Dynamo and we'll have a look at what I mean. So I'm just going to put Dynamo off to the side so we can see both what's happening in Revit and also what's happening in Dynamo. So to begin with, I am going to just uh, select model element and I'm going to select my Revit link instance element here. Now from this, uh, we can actually get linked geometry. Now you'll usually need a custom node or some Python to achieve that. I do have a node in Crumple, um, which you can find under Revit elements. And it will generally be called uh, by link and category. And this will take a link instance and a category or a list of categories. So let's just ask this link instance uh, for the walls category, just to get all the walls from this linked model. So these are now going to be linked elements, not native elements in the model. Um, so if I ask these elements to return their geometry or their solids, maybe we could do as well, I'll just do geometry for now. Um, whilst it looks good in Dynamo, we have some elements, we can see that actually it's sitting around the origin here. Whereas if I check the origin in this model by looking at the internal base point, we're going to find the origin falls around here, which is funny because we can see the origin in the link is still over here, but in Dynamo we can see it's not being returned in that location, and we can see the preview geometry in Dynamo is showing us pretty clearly that the geometry is not in the right spot 
compared to where it is in our linked instance in Revit. So how do we actually get this geometry in the right location? Well, we're going to use the transform uh, that this link instance has stored in it. So I have a node in Crumple, but I will explain this node um, in the Python. And I might just quickly have a look at the elements by link and category, just to roughly explain what's going on in this node. So effectively, we're getting all the categories that we need. Uh, we're building up a collector. Uh, and in this case, we're applying it to the link instances get link document, which is going to be the document of the linked instance, which allows us to apply things like filtered element collectors to that document instead. And effectively, we're just building up a list of lists of elements of the categories that we provide to, in this case, this node. And we can see that that has successfully worked. I might just give myself a little bit more room there because Dynamo's UI is being a little bit hostile, getting in the way of itself. Um, so what we want to do now, and for some reason that's decided to call itself backup, which is good. <laughs> Dynamo's looking mighty buggy today. Where's the actual base node gone? And now it's moved and called itself backup. <laughs> Excellent. I might just reopen this script because I don't like when I see things like that. Uh, it usually doesn't make me comfortable that the script isn't going to go belly up on me at some point. Desktop, there we go. I'm just going to call it home for now. Let's hope this isn't called backup anymore. It is. Great. Okay. Very strange. If any Dynamo developers are watching, interesting. Um, so we're just going to proceed on anyway. Uh, that should just be the right name, hopefully. <laughs> original name, original node name. It's been renamed for some reason. Weird. Anyway, so now we need to get the transform of the link. So I actually have a node in Crumple for that called get link transform. You can find it under Revit coordinates, which you'll find here. Um, so if we provide a Revit link instance, it's going to provide the coordinate system represented by that link in its tran transformed state. So if I go edit again, and I'm just, this time I'm just going to lift the Python out because I don't trust what happened before. So effectively this node, again, it's fairly simple. Um, in this case, we are getting the total transform of the instance and then converting it to a coordinate system. I believe that this is using the geometry conversion in Revit itself, probably. Yes, so in this case, it probably isn't going to have the availability of that otherwise. Yes, so that coordinate system argument is coming from the Revit nodes reference um, specific to Dynamo. So in this case, we now have the coordinate system represented by that link instance. And the last step, and I'm just going to flatten this geometry, is that we want to transform this geometry to its actual intended location in Dynamo. So in this case, uh, I might just go to the node itself. It's under geometry, abstract coordinate system. I believe we're firstly just going to take a base coordinate system, which is the one Dynamo is going to use by default. Um, so in this case, we're going to use the coordinate system by origin 000, so the standard coordinate system. And I now need to transform, in this case, from one coordinate system to another. So in this case, I'm looking for the transform from coordinate system to coordinate system. So I can take in my geometry from the XYZ coordinate system to the link transformed coordinate system. And now we can see we actually have the link geometry in the intended location that is represented in the Revit model at the transformed position. And I can see I now successfully have my geometry in the correct state in my host model from Dynamo. So that's effectively how you can achieve this. And this will become really useful in workflows where you're dealing with linked models. Um, so I may reference this video in other videos in the future, but I hope it's been a, a useful demonstration of how to overcome a really common problem uh, that people come across with links and geometry. So that's it, a very quick video today, but a very useful one. As always, you can find my scripts and the work in progress copy of Crumple as well at my GitHub. Um, and I hope you found this useful. Um, if you're not already following and subscribing, feel free to do so. Um, and if you've got any requests or comments, feel free to leave it down below as well. And I look forward to seeing you in future similar videos. Thanks. Take care. Bye.